After learning some new tips and tricks and pouring so many hours into this game, Breath of the Wild, I want to talk about this and share my thoughts into, is this game really a masterpiece as everyone says? Let's find out and dive back into the world of Hyrule. From an opening act of leaving the shrine and looking out into the world of the view of Hyrule, I knew I was in for a great time for gaming. Breath of the Wild takes you into the world of Hyrule as Link will make his quest into the stopping, gaining, and saving Hyrule. The story is simple, gain access to the lost memories of Link, 100 years slumber, gain back control of the divine beast, and defeat Ganon. Or so you are told. So you go talk to this old guy, do his task he can't do for himself. After doing all that, he, you get some sweet upgrades into your Shikai slate, and it turns out the old man once was the king of Hyrule. You, Link, are a important knight to Zelda that Will fight alongside the fallen champions. The champions are interesting characters of their own. The four champions are Mifa of the Zora, Durok of the Gorons, Orbosa of the Gerudo, and Rivala of the Rido. Each of them are unique and are nice to see in the Link's flashback moments. I really enjoyed a more lively Link into the game. Although he still doesn't talk much, you can tell he shared some moments with Zelda and the other four champions. The combat has some learning curve to it. You fight with a variety of Link's weapons, swords and spears, but a melee weapon strong, but I hate that this game has a breakable system. I run through the weapons so quick just by hitting the most random stuff into the game. Might as well just throw them at enemies once they break. Make some use of them at least. When you get the Master Sword, however, even that breaks. Though it recharges over time, I would've been pissed off if it didn't. Just imagine a one-use Master Sword. If it didn't come back after one use, a strong and powerful weapon at best, but he caution when using it. For range and long distance combat, bows and the different arrows give you a variety of ways to take out enemies. May even one shot kill a couple of them. Between arrows of fire, ice, lightning, the regular, and bomb, you have varieties to play the game. Using the abilities of runes helps as well. I never found too much use for them in combat, but using them to solve various puzzles, break through rocks, moving through areas of the map comes in handy. And the most handy one is using an amiibo rune. Here are a few of my Zelda amiibo actually. Uh, some aren't actually open because I discovered the use of amiibo cards on my background and other stuff. <laughs> but I actually love love these things, man. I got Toon Link open, regular Link, Ganondorf, Zelda, Sheik. And they all give you like these special upgrades and stuff into the game, as I said. And these are actually my amiibo cards that I put. You can also use this game, use this in Breath of the Wild. I'm not sure if you can use these in other games. Does not breath for the wild, but seeing as they scan as a meatball. What makes this game also have me keep coming back even after finishing the story is the amount of extra content put into it. Cooking up meals and elixirs are nice. I was surprised by the amount of dishes that can be made as a player it's offered to try different combinations of ingredients to create food. The big hype about food is the added bonuses you get to each of this. For example, the amount of hearts you gain back, defenses against elements and more. When cooking up elixirs, they give you bonus effects that fight off elements that will damage you into the game. If you cold, how about a cold resistant elixir and so forth. With obtaining monster parts and critter parts, combine them to make them elixirs. I like that a few monster parts have high value and can profit a lot of rubies, which are going to be needed to buy ingredients for arrows and clothes for Link. The game adds side quests for shrines to get ores to collect for heart containers and Korok seeds and expand your inventory for weapons. The seeds can be a lot harder to find. Some are simple just as moving a rock, others will require you to explore in the most random places in the world. I would say the most fun thing I love about this game is just seeing how creative people are when moving throughout the world. Like What? That's freaking crazy! Breath of the Wild will keep you coming back for more. Even after the game ends, I haven't got to play the DLC packs, but you can guarantee I'll look into it. This is my first Zelda game in a while, and I'm so glad I finally took the time to play it. Through its gameplay, combat, creative world, creative strategies, and an environment that's beautiful, I'm easily giving this game a 5 out of 5, and would highly recommend it to anybody who owns a Nintendo Switch. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Hope to bring you guys more content into the future. Um, honestly, I really had fun making this video and hope to make more like this on my channel. So, without further ado, see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.